Hey everybody out there, we've made it to the big 3-0. This is the 30th episode of In It To Spin It. The series now has over 7,000 views. We have the most interviews confirmed than we've ever had at one time. That's all thanks to you guys for watching each week. I'm gonna reward you, there's a contest this week. There's a bunch of freebies in there. Who better to have on the show than the one, the only, B.A. Johnson. Let's do it. <laughs> So parcel time on the old show here. This is by a band called The Hussy. They had this awesome Weed Seizure LP out last year. Uh, this is the sold out black first pressing. Now in 2013 they put out Pagan Hiss. This is a beautiful uh, LP full package here. Artwork by CM Ruiz. Beautiful splatter vinyl. This is now sold out. It's the first pressing. But what we've got here are uh, 45 by The Hussy for 2013. Cool artwork once again. Uh, this is now sold out. These were only 300. These are you can only get these two tracks on this 45. Nice collage there. The Hussy is Bobby Hussy and Heather Hussy, known for their explosive live shows. They've never been to Vancouver. I keep bugging them to get here. There are not one but two copies. One for me, one for you. That's how we do it here on In It to Spin It. They also threw in free of charge, uh, an autographed 45 by Holly and the Nice Loins. Never heard of them, haven't listened to it yet, I'll be honest. But let's get to a contest here. All you gotta do to enter is respond down in the comments one song off the Pagan Hiss LP and you'll be entered. I'll take the hit on the shipping to get you this sold out Hussy 45. So one lucky viewer can uh, snag the Childish Prodigy second album from Kurt Vile. Check it out here. Good luck. So the Lati Da Singles Club for 2013 is going strong. I've received a couple now. Uh, Maniac is the first one. It is called the Dim Sum 7 Inch. The B-side is called Pepe, which is a great throwback, sort of punky song uh, on white vinyl. Of course, the first 150 subscribers to the club get white or colored vinyl, I should say. They're not all white. Uh, next one is the Ballantines out of Vancouver. Good stuff on here. They're about to release their first EP through Lati Da as well. You can check out the website for that, so that's exciting. These songs are Faith and Velvet, but uh, first four people to download these within 24 hours, grab them. Enjoy. So I first sat down with BA back in March during the initial wave of interviews for this show. Uh, I sat on that interview, didn't air it, I didn't feel it lived up to uh, BA's personality, didn't do him justice. He's an amazing performer, he just hits that stage and flips a switch. This is how it all went down at the Astoria. So we arrived at the Astoria to see BA, Needles and Pins and Babysitter, fantastic lineup. I was super stoked to see Babysitter, I hadn't seen them since March where they blew me uh, away for the first time. Great stuff by this band from Victoria, BC. Check out their album, I. It's their debut LP for 20, late 2012, but uh, it's a 2013 record to me. These guys kick ass. There was a broken string early in the set, which is always a bummer. And unfortunately, this wasn't the only string that would break on this night. There was a bit of mid-set tuning to adjust to this. 
uh, really took the steam out of the set. I think they only played one more song after it. Really short set. Uh, they didn't get on till 11.15, as always, at the Astoria late night, but uh, check Babysitter out. Hey everyone, we're here at the Astoria with the uh, magnificent B.A. Johnson. Say hi to everyone out there, buddy. What's up? Magnificent. Yeah. <laughs> I feel magnificent tonight. Thanks for being here, man, and doing no. this again. No problem. It's good to be uh, back in the hallway. Yeah, man. first one didn't get aired, but we are doing it now. It wasn't my A material. I saw the Previa out there. It made it. The Previa did make it. I was a little nervous, but it's here. It's awesome. How's the tour been? Treating you good? Yeah, it's been, I mean, with my kind of show, I find it's not always going to be amazing, but it's been like the big picture. It's been a good tour. Decent? Yeah, yeah. decent. So speaking of the tour, you're on your uh, tour for the ninth album in your vast catalog. Right, my discography. Greatness. Yep, number nine. It is called Mission Accomplished. Came out when? September 2nd? Yeah, Labor Day. So like 32 days ago. It's been on sale for 32 days. Nice. I think I sold 32 copies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> One a day, man. Yeah. One a day. So it's got some great cover art as usual. There's some uh, insightful looks at human nature in there, like... Um, Pizza pops are the equivalent to dry cat food, I believe. Yeah, I, I, I'll stand by that statement. Yeah, it's a, a, it's a good stuff. Um, I don't eat a lot of pizza pops anymore. Yeah, tell us about the album a little bit and the recording of this one. Um, well, sometimes I just figure it's time, you know. Like you had your old, you start thinking you're like, oh, I'm gonna play some of my new songs, and then you realize your new songs are two years old, and yeah. you kind of like freak out. You're like, I need real new <laughs> songs that are new. So I like. like, you're gonna write a record, so I forced myself to go in the basement. You know, yeah. like, Every night you're gonna. Right. Buckle certified. down, and then and then I wrote this record nice. by doing that. Well, certified Work certified gold or cold, I should say. Certified cold hits a little too close to home for me. That's a good one. <laughs> well, but, I kind of noticed like, as you age, more of your friends drink Coors Light. I don't yeah. know if this is the same with you, but everyone I know in Hamilton now, like they order Coors Lights, which I like is kind of weird. Like yeah. I've never really. I'll drink. They're like, hey, get a Coors. I'll drink one, but yeah. I just. And they always talk about certified cold. Yeah, the blue. Like always, they right. check and stuff. I think maybe my friends are just like rednecks yeah. or something. <laughs> well, it's yeah. more the day drinking and the Sega I was talking yeah. about. Oh yeah. <laughs> and White Snakes is a good one too. You guys can check that out. Uh, your previous albums have all had amazing titles. Um, what is it? My Heart is a Blinking Nintendo. I've been a gradually yeah. good titles gradually call, getting lazy. Call Me When Old and Fat is the New Young and Sexy. Yeah, that might have been the summit. Yeah, yeah. And Stairway <laughs> to Hamilton. So that why why Mission Accomplished? Is this this is a really lazy So I was just in a bar and this dude was like, you should call your album Mission Accomplished. We were talking about like, George Bush. I can't remember. Yeah. And it'd be like me standing on an aircraft carrier. It'd be like super funny. And then... When I got the art of me burning Toronto to the ground, I was like, well, mission accomplished really fits with the art. Right. So right. then it, it saved me from having to actually think of like a clever title. Okay, <laughs> yeah, cool. The next one's going to have a good title though, man. Okay. Well, this mission accomplished is good. It's got a video game feel. You know, yeah. Stage done, level done. So judging from your Twitter feed, which I've been reading today, um, See, you're, just eating today. Well. you're eating well. <laughs> I'm not on Twitter. Um, you're eating well, you're uh, experiencing some great nights. Uh, yep. Share a story or two. The 13 chair throwing fest oh, that was, sounds I, a little weird. That was crazy because that was a day off. Yeah. So I was playing Golden, and when I got there, like the bar never has done live shows that, yeah. that I know of, so I was really confused as to why I was playing there. So I got there a day early, and I was like, hey, dude, like I'm playing here tomorrow. And he was like, no, you're not. You're playing this other bar. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's here. So we had to call the owner of the bar, and then he was like, oh, you are playing here. So he, he kind of was bored because there was really no one there. It was just me and him and these kind of older, maybe like 50-year-old kind of like dudes. They were yeah. drinking like double Jack Daniels like and it dude. reached a point. They were bigger. And then one guy finally was like, I'm going to go. He'll pay my tab. And then the guy basically just went crazy after that and started like swing dancing behind us and really? stuff. Really? Punching and started <laughs> throwing chairs. So he threw all these chairs. And we were both little dudes, me and the bartender. So we like, well, I don't know what we're going to do like to get this dude to leave. Like He's going to murder us. 
And then finally this bouncer showed up, he was like on his night off, and we kind of were like, you gotta go. And he was like, fuck out. It's like Raging. smashing stuff, yeah. and then finally we were like, we're gonna call the cops, and then he just kind of left, but it was like really, I didn't know what to do. And then this kind of steroid smuggler guy showed up. We Jesus. talked to the steroid smuggling oh, nice. and work camps. Wow. And that was my night off. That must be a big that was Oh, that was a night off. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even play that. I had to play the next night. There. Awesome. So yeah. Okay, so I that figured, was weird. I figured uh, some of the fans out there might want to get to know you a little better, get some insight into a they little uh, word, or so, word association oh, here, lightning round. So into you know, the psyche. You know the drill, so one word, whatever pops in, let's try this. <laughs> okay, ready? Are we all ready? Sunshine. Lollipops. Chewbacca. Han Solo. Pilsner. Delicious. Taint. Ugh. <laughs> Grimace. Milkshakes. Vancouver. Rain. <laughs> okay, now we've got an either or, so we already All touched right. on the Coors Light. I think I know where this is going. Coors or Blue? Blue. NES or Sega? Ooh. Sega. Seagal or Van Damme? Seagal. Nice. <laughs> I felt kind of guilty. Yeah, about I was it. hoping for Seagal there. He never just, gets punched. Just yeah, so that's what I said to you. Like he's never. No, no. It looks like he looks kind of does look like yeah. Grimace at this point. <laughs> we just watched three in a row. I bought four, oh, wow, your four on one disc. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> and the last one, the most important one, Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. Oh, Empire. He's nice. Okay. Not even a question. Cool, man. Well, that's some very insightful stuff. Uh, this man is a Canadian icon. Get to see this guy. Your sides will hurt at the end of the show, no doubt From about it. rage. Yeah, no, I know hilarious up there. Even though your backing tracks are all on a discman, is that still going on? Yeah, tonight? I tested it. New yeah. batteries. New batteries in the discman. <laughs> it's going to work tonight. Okay, well, thanks for doing this again. Yeah, yeah. My pleasure. Cool.